Crossloading on the JVM is a powerful feature that enables application servers, OSGI applications and other advanced frameworks. However, crossloading can create problems that are exceptionally difficult to debug. JProfile's Classloader probe gives you the necessary tools to solve these problems and in this screencast I'm going to show you how to do that. As an example, we'll start an instance of Apache Tomcat and in order to make sure that class loaders are recorded right from the beginning, I've configured an initial recording profile that uh, includes the class loaders probe. So as Apache Tomcat now starts up, we can see information in the all objects view and we'll switch to the JE in probe section and look for the class loaders probe here and we can see a long list of class loaders, all the class loaders in the JVM with their lifelines, green indicating class loading activity, yellow indicating idle time. We're mostly interested in the class loaders that load our deployed web applications and those are called web app class loader and we can filter the timeline view accordingly. Now we can right click on any of those class loaders and go to the events view to see all the single class load events together with thread information and stack traces. Let's go back to the timeline. Now we would like to do something that impacts class loading and one way to do that is to reload a deployed web application. So let's go to the manager application in Tomcat and reload this larger web application that we have deployed here. Reload go back to jprofiler and voila here there's a new uh, class loader in the timeline view and all these classes have been reloaded but why is the old class loader not garbage collected it should be gone turns out we need a major collection to do that we can trigger that with a run gc toolbar button so let's see yes it worked class loader and all its loaded classes are gone so that is fine if that were not the case you would have a class loader leak and you would have to investigate further but here everything is working as advertised so let's go to the class loaders view and here we see a tabular view of all the class loaders in the JVM let's again filter to see only the web app class loaders here now we can see there's three of them just like in the timeline view, one of them has been garbage collected. This is the replacement class loader, which has loaded a similar amount of classes. And this is the class loader for the example web application. Now, if you have further questions like uh, what instances are blocking the garbage collection of my class loader or where has my class loader been created? You need to go to the heap walker to answer those questions. And that's why the class loaders probe has a crosslink into the heap walker. You can right click any class loader and choose show selection in heap walker and you will get this dialog that gives you two options. One is to show the loaded instances. All the instances have been loaded by a particular class loader. This is um, the appropriate choice if you have a class loader leak. Uh, and show class loader will actually show you the instance of the class loader. This is more if you want to know where a class loader has been created and uh, how it is connected to other classes in your container. So let's choose the first option. A heap dump will be taken and the list of classes will be shown. In the selection steps, you can see that there is two additional entries. Selection step two here is the class loader that we have just selected. Selection step three is um, the loaded instances of that class loader. So we can actually go back one step and inspect that uh, class loader. In a class loader leak scenario, what you would do is uh, select a single class, go to the incoming references and select an instance and show the path to the GC roots and that would show you what strong references would have to be eliminated typically something like a thread local that you forgot to clear In this case everything is fine we don't have a class loader leak here so to summarize to solve a class loader leak you would work your way through all these instances um, get them to clear and then your class loader together with all the classes would be garbage collected